Next guest this evening, Fiona Lally, is joining me here. And we're going to try and talk without losing our tempers about the problems in the Middle East at the moment, in Gaza. Um, and let me, before we talk, uh, Fiona, let me tell you what I want. I want to see the end of all wars. I want to see the end of all people being killed. I want to see the end of all religion as well. But that's a, a personal thing. And I don't mind whatever religion people want to follow. They can do whatever they like as long as they keep it to themselves. Um, so that's where I am. So I... I cannot understand, and perhaps you can actually explain to me, why we seem to have so much anti-Semitism in this country at the moment, uh, it, mainly amongst younger people. I don't think that's the case. I think that you saying, and you're not the only one who says it, Michael Gove the other day came out on the news oh, don't and compare me accused, with him, please. Similar, <laughs> well, he accused yeah. my party of, of being anti-Semitic as well as other people. Mm in connection with this issue of Palestine, because actually what we have in the moment in Britain is a huge movement developing over Palestine, obviously across different universities, we've seen these encampments starting, yeah. students coming out. Um, to getting very violent. They're not getting violent, they're actually. They're not, I've seen some. Well, did you see the video of the police in Oxford just a couple of mm -hmm. days ago arresting students yeah. and assaulting students they weren't assaulting in America them. They were arresting as well? Them. And it, if a policeman arrests you, the best thing to do, and I've been arrested once or twice, the mm -hmm. best thing to do is just to go quietly, okay? okay? Rather than telling them to, well, whatever students feel they should be able to tell a policeman, if they're going to put the handcuffs on you, let them do it, take you to the police station, sort it out there. If you want to fight, then they'll probably have so a fight. So you admit the police are being violent then? No, I don't. I, but I admit that the police... I don't think they're being tough enough. I think the people who are right. screaming from the river to the sea, death to Jews, various other horrific things that I know you probably deny, but they keep on shouting them. It's, it, mm. it, it's and never about any other, uh, any other warfare. And they never aren't about shouting them in that, they aren't shouting them in that video. And that's, they projected that's it onto, neither... onto the Big Ben, didn't they? The video the bit showed a policeman them. fairly strenuously arresting a couple of guys or a couple of policemen. it's not just there, it's on all but, of the protests. Well, then don't go the and make such a nuisance been... of yourself. So you don't think people have the right to protest? Not I in think that way, not, right not, not in a violent way, not in a violent way. I think way. really what this represents on, is, is the media. Because you're and... quite young and you've got no idea what you're talking right, about, Right, so you? the you're media and other people are doing everything they can to shut down people talking about That's rubbish. what's happening. We've got you here. here. You've just done it now, you're speaking over But we've actually got you here, we wouldn't even have you here if that was Okay, sure. So what I'm saying is that the police and Swella Braveman and other people have tried very, very hard to clamp down on the Palestine movement. And that's really what makes you angry. That's what makes other people angry, is the fact that actually the Palestine movement is growing, despite the fact that you and others keep trying to smear it. But they attack counter protesters. We saw the Iranian guy. They attacked and him, didn't they? And it doesn't work anymore. Can you it doesn't wait, work oh, anymore. Sorry, listen to what I'm sorry, saying. Sorry. Oh, sorry. They attacked the, the Iranian guy who was protesting, saying Hamas is terrorist, which obviously, I mean, do you agree? The question and, uh, of Hamas is not relevant no, to uh, why is, the Palestine movement is taking place. No, but hold on, you're not helping Palestinians either. The, they're they're, they're a terrorist subjugating government. I'm actually they're, they're, they're killing the Palestinians. Every day, I'm they're working killing Palestinians. every single day. Who you're is killing Palestinians? Hamas. The Israeli state, Hamas. the Do, do you know what Hamas are? They're, 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 they're a terrorist organisation. They're I an just, authoritarian. Sorry, can I just, they cut the, the yeah, heads off their own people. Just a minute. When were you last actually in that part of the world? What, in Pal I haven't been to Palestine. Haven't I don't need to be to oh, Palestine. I have. I have okay, that's very, that's very good. There's many what are your Palestinians. About the Can I just say something? No, no, There's many Palestinians who cannot go to Palestine because of the policies of mm. Israel, right. who are backed by Western right. imperialism. Right. That's what this is about. This is not and about when you it. Make it. It's not about, it's not about, it's no. not about America it is, and it Britain. Is about Most of them are Arab Jews that went to Israel. Funding Most funding of the Jews in Israel came from the Arab lands when they were kicked out. How are you convinced? Because what you're convinced by is the Hamas-generated social media. Well, they are doing a great job, by the way. They're doing a re really well, good job on social media. Well, they've admitted the 35,000 figure is right yeah. now. But you're believing everything you see on social media rather yeah. than things when a super brain like myself says it. You I mean, know, you, you Joe know, Biden this week Joe also Biden's an idiot. gave... OK, is he also an agent of Hamas then to you, potentially? No. Because he said that... He gave Iran people, $6 billion. He gave the figure of 30,000 people dead he in Palestine. He is an so idiot. That's been debunked. Pretend, that's been debunked pretend. by Hamas, even. OK, OK. Sure. Can, I ask one, can, can I ask one question? 
What are your views? Tell me what you think of the people who committed the atrocities on October the 7th. I think that you're asking me this question so, why to can't pretend you, just you answer care, it. Answer it. to pretend you care about the people who died. Why don't you just answer it? I'll ask it because I care. Reason, I, I, the, I know some of the, the people. Reason the reason that, the reason that people pose this question is yeah. because they want to defend okay. Israel's right to continue its genocide, well, that is to why continue they're doing its it. ethnic it's cleansing. It's not a genocide, is it? To continue its ethnic cleansing of the Palestinians. How can 35,000, if the Hamas figures are accepted, be a genocide from 2 million people? Israel, how many would be a genocide? 2 million people. If you, if it yeah. Yeah. Or a million, a million no, and a half. Let's just get, 000, can't. Stop talking. No, it can't be, can't stop be. talking. Idiocy. Can we shut the no, flip really. up? Every war is genocide. Can we just... You. I mean, you will go. I, I will sack you. Well, I will sack you. Israel have killed the, the smallest Ash, amount of innocent people that there's minute. ever been in modern warfare. Just, I'm just, you're, I'm just, just shut up. A, a fact. Just now the fact. producer's telling you, and if you don't shut up, you're going to have to go. I've got to make facts. You know, I've got to... has to do it. The fact is that genocide or ethnic cleansing would have resulted in the whole of that area of being finished by now. Right. And the Israeli army are doing everything they can to try and stop. <laughs> oh, That's funny. Goodness, so. Genocide Israeli looks like October army the 7th, what are Hamas did. doing everything they can. The Israeli yeah. army and the Israeli government have made it quite clear exactly what yeah. they want to do. Tell me what Which is to continue cleansing yeah. and driving all oh, of the Palestinians You talk crap. Oh, there's no point and with it. The reason that they're doing that. Just, just, You've invited me onto yeah, the show we're, we're to hear my views, you now. and now you're trying to stop yeah. me. But you're right. You talk crap. You're not exposing the truth. You're lying. I'm telling lies. Listen, I didn't want this. I want this to go properly. So I'm going to give you two minutes, right, to state what you think nobody is actually agree. I want you to put your whole point forward. No interrupting no, from no, you, no, no. or I'll take That's your microphone. Much, yeah. And uh, just listen. make everybody know. Go, go for it. The reason why politicians and other presenters, um, particularly in Britain and particularly in the West, are doing so much to try and pretend that Israel has the right to do what it's doing is because Israel is a key ally of Western imperialism, a key ally of America in that whole region. The US and Israel have a trade relationship worth billions. And it's not just the US, there's multinational corporations that are advertising real estate in Gaza. What this comes down to is imperialist interests across the whole of the Middle East and, um, and, and, and the drive to continue that going. Because British imperialism, um, many, many years ago, nearly 100 years ago, took land that wasn't theirs and tried to give it away to another people. And that was a crime, and it's a crime that has continued ever since then up until now, and the Palestinians are suffering a horrific experience because of that. And what I'm interested in is organising people, is organising students to fight against that, to fight against a, What's your a genocide. Goal, That's the goal, though. And my goal is to end capitalism. My goal is to end imperialism. My goal is to stop Your goal is to end... You've had more than two minutes. That's right. Your goal is to stop uh, fascism, what you're saying, fascism and war and killing and everything else. But you're prepared to fight to do that, physically fight to do that. Is I'm that not physically saying? fighting anyone. I'm trying to organise students. I'm trying to, to organise young people. You want people. them to fight. I want mass demonstrations. Yeah. But, but I want a mass gets, movement. That's talking about violence. You're quite happy I'm with the violence to get your violence. way. Well, you I are. haven't said anything right. about violence. Now, you said you're, well, you're two minutes. Hang on. You said you're two minutes and you blame the media, the politicians, Western imperialism yes. and all of that stuff that's made you have the life you have. Uh, you have to. No, no, well, I don't need to. But I just want to minutes. ask you. I mean, what what should Israel have done after in response to that October the seventh attack? Israel should never have started the Nakba right, in the yeah, first but, place. But, but, with right, the but what should it have done? Should it, okay. And the expulsion of so should it have just done nothing after? Should it have just done nothing on October? Why? The, the, what the should it have done? Not what it is currently doing. What should it have done on October the seventh? What should it have done on October the sixth? What about October the? Well, they were firing missiles then as well. How many decades of 20 years. in which Israel has been sowing all of the they violence left in that region? They left and Barrel in 2005. Sorry? They left in 2005, Lock, Stock and Barrel. Are you, are you suggesting that the Israeli state hasn't been continually oppressing and using well, no, violence no, and attacking all of the Palestinians? They've been firing missiles, Hamas. What they did, Israel left in 2005. Well, hold on, let me, let me answer that. They, they left in 2005 and then they thought, well, we better watch the borders in case, you know, stop weapons getting in, which they were right to do, obviously. And what they should have done at that point in Gaza is developed it into, a, you know, a tourist destination and become great and open the borders and become peaceful instead of doing this. But what should, I ask you again, what should peace. Israel have done after They're October? What should peace. Israel have done after October 7th? They're not interested in peace in any way or You're in any capacity. You're going to answer it. You're going to answer it. 
I have answered it. Yeah, what, what should Israel do? Israel, Israel, Israel should, should not have just done do nothing. what it's currently doing. So what should I do? Nothing. Israel should not do. You can't what answer it's currently that, can you? I can answer. What, what should I do on October the eighth? End the occupation, end they the oppression of the Stop Palestinians, end the exploitation that's taking mm. place. Stop the settlers so that are going to take more land. After Stop um, just, holding just Palestinian hostages. Well, forget the hostages. Israel is are not even interested are you in freeing the hostages. Are you a Muslim? Of course not. No, I'm not oh, that's a shame. Because I was going to say, we have the Jewish side and we have, OK, you're Christian or nothing. It's not, it's not about religion. It? It's well, it not about religion. It's about imperialism. Hamas seems to think it's about religion. It's about imperialism. But the majority of Israel is made up of Arab Jews from the Arab lands that were kicked out. That's not the point. The point oh, is, not the point is, is there is a state that is yeah. doing everything it can state, to, indigenous drive, Jewish state. to drive hundreds of thousands Could of I people out. Wrong, wrong. And it's yeah. nothing guys, to do with the fact that I think we're going to have to finish because a, a break is coming up. I'm not bothered having her on. A break is coming up in a minute. But what would you have done about Adolf Hitler? What would you have done about that? Situation? I could tell you what communists were doing. Communists were fighting as much as they could to stop so, the rise of Hitler in Germany at that time. But you don't want to have a serious. No, I, I'm you don't want to have a serious conversation with you because fascism. everything what you're said, interested in doing is defending. Yeah, Stalin Israel, and Hitler defending, invaded Poland together. Everything. Stalin inside to do of it. Yeah. You Ash, don't know history, now. Ash, Ash, she doesn't. She's Stalin young. was with Hitler before. But you, you, you absolutely <laughs> think that if Israel will put down their weapons tomorrow and just walk away. You think Hamas would leave it? I think that in order for there to be genuine peace across question, that whole no. region, that we need to end capitalism, end imperialism, yeah. which is the driving force for all of what the problems do do that job? are taking place there. Do you have a job? I work for the Revolutionary Communist Party and I organise people, yeah. I organise young people mm. and workers Do you workers know what you're doing, don't you? Can I be quite honest? To, to yeah. genocide. You are going... You're not going to be honest, you, but I'm being, Everything I say She's a mind reader, remember. Yeah. She can read all uh, this. Everything you're doing is going to cause major conflict in this country. I am not responsible Every for Everything any people conflict. people like you the British government, and who are promoting which is supporting that, and facilitating a genocide like right now, say. are responsible for conflict. Because it's true. Why don't you want to live in a communist people, country? Other people's, Why other don't you people want to live in a communist country? There is no communist country for me if to you go, you don't, Hang on, just a minute. In. If you don't like living in this country, which obviously you don't, why don't you go and live somewhere where it's better than Britain? Why, you would, I live, why would I live somewhere else well, well, because when I can change the country? Because obviously you don't like this country. country. Because I can why would I live somewhere else when I can, when I can change the country that I live in? You can't change this country. Okay. You won't change it. Well, well, let's wait and see because the truth is... The woke is, is going there are so and many we are getting people, back to how we used to be. The defining feature of politics in this country is that young people hate the political establishment. They hate the status quo. I have quo, been young. It's not all about young people. Why do you think young people have more of a say? It's not just young people. The majority no, you, you think of young people, people are more important. The majority, but the majority of people, majority of people the majority don't agree of with you. The majority and you just of laugh people a lot. <laughs> in Britain don't support what Why the do government you think is this doing is funny, in Gaza. By the way, if they don't have, support. If you had a sensible and serious face, I'd take you more seriously. But you smile and you're doing it now throughout what I think is one of the most dangerous times. I think we are on the verge of the Third World War. Right. And I don't consider people like you will be of any use whatsoever because you get called up to go to the forces, you won't go, will you? <laughs> I will don't you? think we're on the verge of the Third World War. Well, I think we are, we... particularly with people who are behaving funny, in the way you yeah, are. Funny. But it's funny, is it? Mm. It's funny. Do you know how many people kill, get killed in a world war? Oh, so you I know do you're care about people dying. I said that at the, the beginning. But you're I care lying. about. E you're a hypocrite. If you cared about break people dying, now. break if you cared now. About people dying, break thousands of people now. are dying today break. in Sudan and Darfur. Now, why are you smiling?